Yo, what's going on everybody? We are on part two of this character design. I had uh maybe a little cup of joe. Yeah. I'm kinda tired, man. Hopefully it's gonna keep me up. I think I went about 12 hours without hitting no hookah or nothing, so I'm good, man. I'm proud of myself. Proud of myself, man. I ain't hit no hookah in about 12 hours, something hours. I've been going crazy. Because I came across an extra hookah, and I ain't have, I ran out of mods. So, Friend of mine gave me they old they a new hookah they didn't need and so I've been using that one because they my last mod ran out of flavor so I've been using that one and that thing hit strong man she got like a big ass battery I don't think I need to hit that one I think that's when I throw her because I hit that big one um let me shrink my screen down. Cause I, I had started modeling, then I thought about like, man, this looking good, man. Let me get a name here. Put this on a, on video. All right, so this one I'm at, uh, Oh, I was doing a pupil. I was naming my. Oh, I probably spelled that wrong. Those scale values. So more oval shapes, yeah. and then we can click G and S to yeah. scale and position yeah. it yeah. over yeah. top of the yeah. eye where we want it. You also want to make a material for the pupil, so select it, go to your material properties, click the plus sign to make a new material and name it pupil, and then just change the base color to black. Go ahead and click. All right, I got to get this, that shape right first. What y'all think? Ooh, that look kind of scary. Here's the hell with the, the modifier. No. Yeah. What's something about my why the eyes? I don't know. I think eyes look a little fishy. They look a little fishy, eh? Let me see if I can fix that. Look a little better. That looks a little bit better. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, let's see what this guy talking about. Let me see how my video is looking. Okay, it's still recording. Let's see. Let's see. Click Control C, Control V with that pupil selected, and then by clicking G, just move the duplicated pupil over to the yeah, second yeah. eye. So now let's add in some eyebrows using similar steps to what we just did before. I'm going to click Shift A, and this time I'm going to add in a cylinder. So again, just like we did with the eye, you can position it using G, you can scale it using S, go to your material properties, and create a little eyebrow material. So again, just like before, material properties. Woo! Like okay. I like, uh... What? 
Oh. Okay, now it's the same color. Alright. That Barney's in my bed. Precisely. Yeah, let me get up on, on video. Sorry, I didn't know I did them precise the character. Who shiesty? Warn them all my video and stop my money flow. No.
Yep, I figured out. They tried to stop the money flow. He let him. You know, I'm going to me. But I already give me some more people, give me some more money. I just had 21,000 views, now I got 23,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 sign to make a new one choose your base color duplicate that to add the second one once you have those two eyebrows you're good to go so you have the basics of modeling down just using those primitive objects and positioning them where you want what if you want to create something a little bit more complex for example our facial hair there's only so far circles cubes and cylinders can take you so let me show you the three-step method that's going to make modeling anything extremely simple like before in object mode we're going to click shift a and we're going to add in another cylinder so step number one, you want to create the basic shape using your primitives. But this time we're going to shape the cylinder so that it's in the rough shape of a mustache. You want to kind of create like a Minecraft version of what it's going to look like. So to do this, we need to switch over to edit mode. So select our mustache, click tab to quickly switch over to edit mode. These options over here on the left, you're going to see you can either select the vertices, the edges, or the faces. Let's go to face select mode, and then we're going to select the top part of that cylinder we're going to click E to extrude the face. So this is extremely important here, guys. Make sure you note know these few couple of shortcuts. E to extrude is extremely important. Once yeah. you click E and you've extruded the face, and you left click to put it in place, with that face still selected, you can click G to move it around. You can click S to scale it up and down. Or you can click R to rotate it. So use those different positioning tools to, again, create your little Minecraft rough draft shape of a mustache. You need to keep extruding, so you click E, extrude it a bit, click, click S, scale it a bit if you need to. Once you have your basic rough shape, let's move on to step two. Step two is smooth the mesh out. So you have the rough shape of what you're trying to make, but it's just a little bit too sharp and blocky. You can select your mesh, you can go over to the modifiers tab, and you can add a subdivision surface. This splits the faces into smaller parts, making them look more smooth. 
is to make sure you guys don't go overboard with this because the more you subdivide into smaller parts, the higher the poly count gets. So if you have something with a super high poly count, it's going to use up a lot of memory, it's going to raise your file sizes, and uh, it's going to make your computer start chugging a lot. So again, just be careful, make sure you don't subdivide too many times, and that should make things look a lot better. Now step three, you have your general shape, you have it smoothed out, but maybe you just need to finalize the look a bit more, make a tiny bit of changes, how do you do that? Step three is by using your sculpting tools. So if you select your object, and just like we went into edit mode before, you want to click that little drop down and go to sculpting mode. Here you can use any of these sculpting tools to shape this object in any which way you want. Um, you can add texture using this, you can do a bunch of different stuff. Stick to the basics and just find the grab tool. It's the little, it's the little yellow one here. Use that grab brush, you can change radius, you can change strength, whatever. Just use that grab brush and try and shape the mustache a little bit better. Very simple, very easy. Once you've done that, let's add the mustache to the other side of the face, back in object mode. Just control C, control V to paste it. And then in your object data properties, find your rotation, change your rotation so that it's on the flip side of the face. So let's quickly review that three-step process. So, so step number one, you wanna create a primitive, so a cube, a circle, a cylinder. You wanna use the extrude tool, the grab tool, the scale tool to create a basic shape of what it is you're trying to make. Step number two is you wanna smooth the mesh out. So you wanna subdivide it by going to the modifiers tab, adding a subdivision surface and just bumping those sliders up a bit. And step number three, to finalize the shaping, you go to sculpt mode and you use that grab tool or any other, or any other different sculpting tool just to shape finalize right the look. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a sculpt good. That's this, how time. They, they shape. this time I'm going to shape like, yeah, that shit look like a piece of clay on the face. I don't know. I guess all of it look like clay on the face. I'm trying to think. How long this video is? Oh, I can't tell right now. I would say 17 minutes. I'm gonna let y'all see me make a mustache and then we're gonna go into uh part three. Alright. Dang, I wanna control D. Let me see. we're going to click shift a and we're going to add in another cylinder so step number one you want to create the basic shape using your primitives but this time we're going to shape the cylinder so that it's in the oh, shit. rough shape of a mustache you want to kind of create like a minecraft version of what it's going to look like so to do this we need to switch over to edit mode so select our mustache click tab to quickly switch over to edit mode these options over here on the left you're going to see you can either select the vertices the edges or the faces let's go to face select mode and then we're going to select the top part of that cylinder and we're going to click e to extrude the face so this is extremely important here guys make sure you note these few couple of shortcuts e to extrude is extremely important once you've clicked e and you've extruded the face oh you yeah click to put it in place with that face still selected you can click See, g to move it around you can click S to okay. scale it up and down, or you can click R to rotate it. it. So yeah, use those different idea. positioning tools to again create your little Minecraft rough draft shape of a mustache. If you need to, keep extruding. So you click E, extrude it a bit, click, click S, scale it a bit if you need to. Once you have your basic rough shape, let's move on to step two. Step two is smooth the mesh out. So you have the rough shape of what you're trying to make. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see it. 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 Oh, well, let me see. Oh, no. I'm city where I live in. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. And on the side. Oh, mother. I love the kid making budget. Oh, 
all good. They about to be walking down the side. Get my thing, let that monkey hang. Who love? Take it out, treat me over. Let me see it. If you're looking for a trio type, I can be it. On the dog, boss hog, sweet John, nigga. Your girl won't leave me alone. Cause she a carnivore. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I'm go ahead and get this, get this together. Hey, senor. Hey, senorita. No, senor. Mira, un pan, amita. Mira, un pan, amita. Mira, un pan, amita. No. Dang, I ain't wanna think of this, bro. Yeah, nigga like that. Yeah, nigga like that, bro. Nigga like that there. Yeah, I'm nigga like that. Nigga like that. I'm nigga like that. Nigga like that, yeah. Pretty straight. I became light skinned like that. 
All right, let's um. I want to do the whole beer coming down. I'll say that for another video. I'm going to go ahead and clip this for y'all. But it's just a little bit too sharp and blocky. You can select your mesh, you can go over to the modifiers tab, and you can add a subdivision surface. This splits the faces into smaller parts, making them look more smooth. Just make sure you guys don't go overboard with this, because the more you subdivide into smaller parts, the higher the poly count gets. So if you have something with a super high poly count, it's going to use up a lot of memory, it's going to raise your file sizes, and uh, it's going to make your computer start chugging a lot. So Again, just be careful, make sure you don't subdivide too many times, and that should make things look a lot better. Now step three, you have your general shape, you have it smoothed out, but maybe you just need to finalize the look a bit more, make a tiny bit of changes, how do you do that? Step three is by using your sculpting tools. So if you select your object, and just like we went into edit mode before, you want to- All right, yeah, um, I'm about to end this, make a part two to the um, character. Editing and design. If y'all like content like this, like, comment, subscribe. It's almost um, what the temp did outside. If y'all think I'm in, I can trade it. Twenty-five degrees. Alright, it's alright. The other day was nine. Yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Y'all yeah, um appreciate you made this far in the video. Oh man, it's only a 30 minute video. Let me end it. I right, yeah, appreciate y'all. Peace out. It's boy Brandon Tattoo Character Design Part 2. Y'all yeah, stay tuned. The next one we'll be working on the um goatee. And what else I got hair at? Um, let me try to get that on my camera before I just go. Oh, I can pacify some kind of stuff. Mm. All right, y'all.